But of course, the question everyone wants to ask is, is there any life out there? There we don't know. We don't really know how likely it is for there to be life, because even though we know about Darwinian evolution on the Earth, we still don't know how life got started on the Earth, what made the transition from biochemistry to the first replicating, metabolizing things that we would call alive. People work on this, we don't know, so we can't say whether it was a rare fluke or whether this would happen in any similar environment. Still less do we know the likelihood that any simple organisms on another planet would lead to a biosphere as has happened on our Earth over the last four billion years, which has led to intelligent technological creatures. We'd like to know this, and of course uh, um, we'd like to find evidence for any advanced life. And uh, this is one of the most fascinating subjects, and uh, you may have read that there's a, a Russian uh, billionaire who has just uh, given $100 million for a 10-year project to try and search for evidence for technological civilizations by looking for some, some, something that's manifestly artificial. And I've agreed to chair the advisory committee for this. And, of course, no one's holding their breath for success. Um, uh, even the optimists wouldn't rate the chance of success as more than a few percent. But the stakes are so high that it's worthwhile. And I'm very glad that Mr. Milner has spent his money this way and not on a yacht or a football team, which would have been the alternative. <laughs> Um, so, we hope that there may be some evidence for intelligent life, but even if that's a, a high-risk pro project, we'll certainly learn more about simple life and whether that exists. I should say as a digression, of course, that uh, uh, there are some people who know the answer already. Um, I get letters from people who uh, have met the aliens, <laughs> have been abducted by the aliens, and such like. And um, I say two things to these people. First, I say, um, if the aliens had made this huge effort to traverse interstellar space, would they just meet a few well-known cranks, make a corn circle and go away again? <laughs> Seems unlikely. Second thing I say is these people should write to each other and not to me. <laughs> <laughs> but... The important point is that uh, uh, this subject of uh, bioastronomy is now a serious subject, but it's much more difficult than the rest of astronomy because biology is a much harder subject than physics. So I'm going to go back to the physical world. 